Toes and ones, check this out. A lot of people, or maybe even you, maybe even you, depending on where you are on your spiritual journey, your spiritual awakening, wherever you are, this may even resonate to you and where you are. Many people are now going through the dark night of the soul. If you already been through the dark night of the soul, then you know exactly what the heck I'm talking about. <laughs> and it speaks for itself, dark night of the soul. I'm telling you. Well, you know, I'm not even going to go in deep into what the dark night of the soul is, but what I'm going to tell you is many people's demons, their inner demons, their shadow work, their dark side has been presented to them. And they don't know what to do with it. They don't know what this is. Why is this here? Why is this happening? Why am I seeing this? You know why you're seeing it? If you're someone who's seeing it, I'm going to tell you right now why you're seeing it. You are seeing this because this is things that is a part of within you. These things that are coming up is who you are. It's your dark side. It's your shadow side. It's the darkness within you that needs to be seen so that you can look at it and begin to change it. Because maybe you were unconscious to it. Maybe you weren't aware that this darkness was within you. That this is the behavior you've been doing. This has been the negative thoughts. This has been the reactions. All that negativity. All these things that are broken within you. All the things that don't serve you that you feel. I'm telling you, it don't feel good going through the dark night of the soul. But it's amazing because like later, I'm telling you, it's like, whoa, you turn into a butterfly. <laughs> later on, you know what I'm saying? Because there's levels, there's stages to the dark night of the soul. Ignore the train, baby. They ain't going to stop us today. Okay? So, there's there's uh, levels to dark night of the soul. How long does it last? It all depends on who you are and how you get through it. You know what I'm saying? But my point is many people on this planet are not even aware that they are going through a dark night of the soul. And some of them, that they're starting not even to know right from wrong. The way this world is set up, people don't know what's right and what's wrong. They don't know what's, what's good or what's bad. They don't know any of that anymore. They, they're not aware of things they are doing unconsciously. It's unconscious for a reason. It needs to shine light on it. So... Now, people on the planet, as some are shifting into 5D energy, ascending there, some are going through the dark night of soul and they're being faced with their demons, their dark side, so that they can begin to work on it. And yes, it's freaky as heck. It's, it's weird. I mean, it's different. You know, it's just unfamiliar. Straight up. So, people are going through this. So, you might run into some uh, edgy people, you know what I'm saying, some irritable people. It just all depends. I mean, you just, you just got to understand where they're going from. Like I said, people are where they are. Many people are on different levels, you know. So what's going on is I know there's a lot of people that maybe going through the dark night of the soul or just not knowing what's right and what's wrong anymore because they're not connected to their center. They're not connected to your intuition. So much darkness is, has covered their life. That's why people, you know, they say look zombie. You know what I mean? I don't really like calling people that because I love people no matter what. You know, I make peace with the dark side. All, it is what it is. This is what makes me who you, are, who you are today. But my point is people are very unconscious to things to where that's why you notice people seem like they're being controlled because they kind of are from the thoughts. And it could be like, so if you come in contact with someone or you see people who play the victim role, the role that uh, maybe they've been playing it since childhood because you have... Uh, you know, inner child healing as well. But I feel that a lot of this victim role is coming because people don't know what's good, what's bad, or what's right and what's wrong, chosen ones. They don't know anymore. So they play the victim role. Like, they'll create all this shit, all these problems, and then they'll blame everybody else. You know why? Because they got all this darkness appearing in front of them. All this shadow work, you know, that, that needs to be done. So all these demons, their inner demons, are appearing there in front of them, and they are, don't know what to do with that energy. They don't know how to go in and look at it and, and, and follow your intuition yet, unless some are doing it. But many of them, they don't know that. It just makes them feel very angry, frustrated, whatever negative emotions they'll begin to feel it. So they might start creating all type of shit and, 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 uh, then, and, then, and then swear they didn't do it. They play victim. I ain't do that. That wasn't me. I don't get it. Or I can't say that. I can't do it. I don't know. I don't know why I do this. I don't know why this is happening to me. I don't know why I feel like this. I don't know why I rip things off the wall. I don't know. I don't know if, if you're right or I don't know if, if you're wrong. I just don't know no more. They just don't know anymore. They don't know. That's why it's important, chosen ones, to shine your light bright and lead the people the way that are ready. Lead to be the example that you want to see in this world. Be the example for these people. Let them know that it's going to be okay. They're going to get through this. They're going to make it through this. The rain don't last forever, baby. After the rain, the sun always shines. But you got to get through the rain because through the rain is how we grow. Through the rain is how we learn, baby. Through the rain is how we learn how to get our power back. So these people that are going through the dark night of the soul are not aware of how to get their power back. 
Why is this darkness here? It's time to look at it. The frequency on the planet is very, very hot. So yes, these things are happening to them. On top of that, the frequency on this planet is so dang high that I bet you you feel like you just like people who who uh, have not escaped like the matrix life. You probably if you go into the matrix, basically you will notice people in rush, 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 rush. Well, I say go out into the matrix when you go outside, you're in the matrix, baby. You know, so I'm out here in the matrix right now making this video, and I can feel the energy that's going on around outside. That's why I love making my videos outside, so I can connect with these energies out here to give you the messages. So yes, people are always in a rush. You probably see people just moving around like this. Moving around like this, not even really thinking. They might bump into you. <laughs> they might run into you. That's why people wreck it. All these things because people are totally unconscious and in a rush because the frequency is so high here on this planet. They don't have enough time to live that matrix lifestyle anymore. They're running out of time. They feel like they don't have enough time to get up, go to work, take care of themselves. Uh, feed their kids, get to the kids games. All the things that they've been doing back way in the past that when energy was slower here. It's starting to feel like, oh my God, even with bills, they coming back, they coming back, they coming back. There's only so many hours in a day they feel like that they could go to work and make money to pay these bills. There's only one of them or, or you know, two parents who can uh, break up the time to get here and be there for the kids and all the kids' activities they doing because they like spiraling fast too. This energy is just like, it's moving so fast and you chosen one and you're someone who's been doing the inner work and working on yourself and creating your own reality. You see how high this energy is too. But if you've been working on yourself and creating Creating the life you want and to you it's feeling damn good you know why because things are manifesting faster for you things are happening quicker for you yes yes so i th things are getting so amazing for you but for them they're barely going through what you already went through they're barely going through that dark night of that soul i'm telling you so many people are needing help many people are needing guidance now Many people don't know what this shit is. Ain't nobody ever taught this stuff in school. This stuff you can find in, in no schoolhouse. I mean, and your parents probably couldn't teach you this because they didn't know. And they're not wrong. They only knew what they knew. Their parents told them, taught them what they knew. That's just the way they knew. That's it. Just like the way we, our thoughts and our speaking, we were never taught how to think and how to speak, baby. Straight up. So the new world is teaching people how to think and how to speak. And so much more. So that's why all this chaos, it seems like in the physical, when you enter the matrix, is going on in people's reality. Because of what is going on inside of them, it's projected off into the reality. So they are everywhere. You got all type of energies out here. You got to protect your energy, chosen ones. Protect your energy because it's all type of energies out here. I'm telling you. One day, I had told on one of my videos how I went to the store. And uh, I just really just went there running it out. And um, I didn't really... Um, protect my energy besides I always got my crystals on baby which helps but uh I had just actually went through a healing process of some stuff with worry let me tell you that and so when I went in the store real quick I noticed like I was already feeling good about that stuff with the worry I had let that go but all of a sudden when I came out of the store I was feeling worry I'm feeling a little anxious feeling things I don't feel and I come to realize this didn't happen till I went in that store I didn't pick up these people energy I had to cleanse my space. Like I tell you, I love the sage. I got Archangel Michael spray sage, and I have the nine-inch stick sage that smoke it up, baby, <laughs> and, and cleans your aura and stuff. So I use, I wear a black turmoil crystal all the time. It's also protect, protects against 5G energies. And we on technology because I work on technology because I work from home, and I also when working on technology, I like to go outside in nature and clean my hair. And ground and put my feet on the ground just to give you a little tip. This crystal here is uh, connected to my angelic, my uh, angels, baby. Archangel Mike was definitely working for me right now, big time. I'm going to make a video about y'all. So you chose the ones on how to protect. It's like, watch out right now. Watch out because you're being watched. And I'm going to tell you something from a dream I had. But, yes, the people are spiraling out of control. Things are happening on this planet right now. So I want you to know if you witness the chaos, although your life and you create your own reality is peaceful, but when you come out of the matrix, you're going to see matrix shit. So you are noticing things in this matrix that's like, whoa, people seem unconscious. That's why people say people are zombies. People are being controlled. They're acting off their thoughts, and they're going through the dark night of the soul. They're being faced with the inner demons, and it's presenting themselves to them. So that's why, I mean, truth be told, mental health, um, mental health stuff, like me mental health is rising depression is rising anxiety is rising people are needing therapists people are needing help people are needing coaching because people were never taught how to live life we were never taught how to live life we were taught and programmed 
in the matrix for a reason to discover ourselves you know we were put here to re rediscover who we are to find out who we are to get rid of the amnesia get rid of the labels get rid of all of us blocking us to help us find out who we are and why we came here and you know chosen ones always led to the new earth you know it's just stuff we don't remember We've always led the way. We always led the people. We all be always begin creating on the new earth and lead the people the way. Those who came here to wake up. Those who realize they created their own reality and so forth. Because I believe that everybody didn't come here to wake up. Everybody, some people came here to do their own thing, but a lot of you came here to wake up. And if you chosen, you definitely came here to wake up. Maybe you have a mission, a passion. A, you just have this burning sensation inside of you that lights you up to help people. You love helping people. You probably helped people in the past and they fucking... You didn't know you probably wasn't helping them properly because your shit you was probably messed up inside <laughs> like me. I was always helping people, but inside of me, I was still broken. So I was giving them sometimes broken advice and stuff, but my intentions were pure. But I was giving them broken advice and I was draining the shit out of myself because they kept coming back and they never put in the work. They never put in the action to do better. And when I gave them advice that was so helpful, because it was easy for me to see what people needed help with. So I would give them that advice and they would just run all over me. They didn't even tell you, they didn't even use it. And they would come back with the same shit i'm like oh no oh, i kept giving it over time i'm like man this stuff tired me i mean you got to quit i'm blunt you gotta stop this if you're gonna keep coming around me with these same problems and i'm telling you how to do it but you ain't even putting in the work then don't come back asking me because you just wasted my time and this is how i blocked off my gift because of this so yes that's why it's important to heal and understand who the help and why you helping them because everybody don't want your help some people are just energy vampires and they just want your energy so that's why it's important to be uh, in your power, in your whole power, because you can sense this stuff. You know who's pure. You know who's just just trying to get over on you, you know? And you have that heart where you love to help people. So it's uh, it, it's tough not to want to help people. But remember, you're giving away your energy. And remember, some people are not genuine with it. They just want your energy, baby. So, yes, people, but there are going to be many people who, who are you chosen ones who are standing in your light, who have done the inner work, who are shining bright. There are going to be many people who will begin to contact you. Like for myself, booking life coaching sessions with me because I am a life coach as well. Booking hypnosis sessions with me because, you know, in hypnosis, your mind goes back to whatever it is you ask it. So if you want to go back to why you angry, I can take you back to why you angry. And your mind will show you when it started, baby. Oh, man, it's powerful. You did not know about that. Okay. People are seeking help. And I want to tell you there's nothing wrong with seeking help because this is something you did not learn in school. This is something your parents didn't talk, didn't teach you. If your parents did, you were fucking lucky. You were amazing. You had woke parents and that's what's up. But many of us didn't have that. So you weren't taught this. So it's okay to um, not be okay sometimes. It's okay to reach out for help, for guidance. I'm telling you, it would change your life when you don't see something that somebody else can see. When somebody of the light can shine their light on your darkness and uncover what you are unconscious to. It's a powerful thing. So, yes, you know, everybody needs help. You know what I'm saying? Oh, your, only your ego will say, you can do it all on your own. You can do it. You don't need no help. At the end of the day, you need help. We all need guidance. We all need support. Because somebody can see what we are not seeing. Especially if we are covered with so much darkness around us. Many of you chosen ones probably can do it on your own. Yes, we, it takes a long time. Because like I said, nobody's shining that light on our darkness. So we have to go through many things over and over again. Keep repeating certain lessons over and over again until we get it. Until we learn it. Until it sinks in like lotion in the skin, baby. That's then when we actually understand it. We, under, we get it. So now, with a lot of chosen ones who are in their power, they can help you get out of whatever it is you need to get out faster by shining their light on the darkness of the things that you are unconscious to that is stopping you, that the limited beliefs, the inner child healing, the things that are within yourself that need healing, that you're not seeing any issues and blocks and so forth. The planet, the people on the planet will begin needing help and they will start reaching out to you chosen ones. So, so keep shining bright and standing in your power because the people will need you. They're going to need you. They're going to reach out to you. You have your tribe. You have your team. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people out there that we all connect with generally through our words, through our presence, through our energy. Everything is energy. All they feel is the energy from you. So be pure. Be genuine. Be yourself. Be true to who you are. Stand all in your power, baby, and reach out to the world, baby. I'm telling you, the right people will come into your life. And the right people who need help will come into your life as well. So, yes, this is also part of what's going on with the new world. I wanted to get this message out to you guys. You know, um, I'm telling you right now, the universe is sending me so many messages right now. And I'm getting them to you guys. And I'm telling you from personal experience, this shit that I'm telling you is real. You can feel it. I ain't even got to tell you. You can feel it, baby. You can feel it in the air. Okay, I can't see. But you can feel it. So if you like this video, 
If you like videos, like this, smash that like button right now, baby. And share this video to anyone you feel like is going through the dark night of the soul or is with them the victim mentality where people are feeling like they did nothing wrong because they're facing their own demons. So they're like point blame to everywhere. And, and what point is it to blame others? It's a waste of energy. What point is it to focus on negativity? It's a waste of energy. It's not going, it's not working for you. It's not going anywhere, but create negative realities for you, negative experiences for you. So it's not even worth wasting your time on it. But when people are unaware and they're unconscious, they may be wasting their time on these types of energies. So yes, what's going on, on the planet, you might realize people are beginning to feel that victim mentality because they're not aware what's good and what's bad. Like everything I just mentioned in this video, they don't know anymore. It's just covered in darkness. So they play victim. They create all this stuff or all their demons appear in front of them and they're just like, what the fuck? And they don't know what to do. And they start blaming everybody around them. And if you chose them and you got your light shining bright, they gonna blame you because shit, they start really coming up when you enter the building. <laughs> Just know your power and know why things are happening where they are and why the people are where they are, why people react the way they do when you enter the building. Straight up, your presence is known. But yeah, like I said, a lot of people are playing victim right now. And maybe they just don't know the truth. And they're unaware of why is this dark night of soul is happening to me. Why are these things coming up within me? And I'm looking at them. They look freaky. They look scary. Is this me? What is this? Where did it come from? You know what I'm saying? Like the skeletons in your closet. Straight up. So if you're new to my channel, Welcome to my channel, baby. Welcome to the PCM family. I'm about to give y'all a hug. Yes! I know you feel that love energy. I love you guys. Welcome to the PCM family, baby. If you have not subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel and smash that bell so you get all my newest videos that I drop. And check out the videos on the Miss Kelly Travel Spiritually platform, baby, because I'm lighting it up. Lighting it up, baby. Lighting it up, 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 baby, because I'm shining bright for you guys, you know? No, I'm just leading the way, baby, so check this out. Come back to see me, baby. Come back to see me because Miss Kelly Travel Spirits is checking out. 